first episode of Mr. Gaurav Gill, you must have tried to analyze the body stances of various people around you. Hello guys, I am Anjani Gupta. Welcome you all with the Forensic Corner. Now here in this part, Mr. Gaurav Gill talks about the video analysis. So how video analysis can help you? Like if you are watching a KBC and uh, you you have to predict the Amitabh Bachchan's or Amitabh Bachchan's expressions, then you can predict with a video analysis. So what are you waiting for? Let's check out this video. This is another case, very popular case of 2002. Uh, you see this lady, her name is Lacey Peterson and she disappeared. And her husband was similar, Scott Peterson. But the only difference was that there was no facial expression. So when the wife was missing, he was just standing. And after two days, the neighbors noticed that he was trying to do a barbecue outside in the open. And uh, he ended up burning some of the fish. And uh, he got really angry. And the neighbors noticed he gets more angry at the burning of the fish than in comparison to the missing wife. So. When he was giving a statement, this is a similar case to Barry Morphew. When he was giving a statement, he also started talking about his wife in the past tense. So when the interrogators were talking to Barry Morphew, they said he is sounding exactly like Scott Peterson, whose wife went missing. So even Scott Peterson went ahead and uh, you know announced an award of five hundred thousand dollars. He's arrested. This is the guy that you see on the right. He again. This is very important. If somebody talks about his or her partner or anybody in the past tense, which means they know it, it doesn't mean that they would have killed them, but probably they know who did it or where the person disappeared. So he was sitting for an interview and one of the interviewers said, did you murder your wife? So if you want to uh, get the actual response, ask direct questions. Did you rob that house? Did you steal from there? And if the person cannot say no, straight no, then it means that there is a problem. No, no, I did not. He says uh, with a small shake, shake of his head, I had absolutely nothing to do with her disappearance. He was again giving it a day after her disappearance. He was already talking about her in the past. So anybody talking about in the past? Okay, look at this. He says. Did you murder your wife? So he said, I had nothing to do with her disappearance. He's not saying murder. He's saying disappearance. This in forensics is called psychological distancing. Because you cannot say the actual word because the actual word would make you feel very uncomfortable and that will make you feel guilty or softening of severity of the crime. Because you cannot say, for example, did you kill that person? I did not hurt anybody. So I would not use the word kill. I would say hurt or I would say injure because hurt will uh, ki uh, killing makes me feel more guilty. On Mother's Day, her husband is speaking yes, out one who might have seen something to say something. As Megan Alexander reports, the mom took a solo bike ride and hasn't been seen since. The husband of a mom missing since Mother's Day is making a dramatic plea for her safe return. No questions asked. However much they want, I will do whatever it takes to get you back. Honey, I love you. And I want you back so bad. Mom of two, Suzanne Morphew, vanished after going for a bike ride along this Colorado trail. Her husband, Barry, a volunteer firefighter, was said to be 150 miles away in Denver when she was reported missing by a neighbor. Oh, Suzanne, if anyone is out there that can hear this, that has you, please, we'll do whatever it takes to bring you back. We love you. We miss you. Your girls need you. Barry Moore. So, he, uh, over here, if you watch him. Get you back. Honey, I love he you. He says, honey, I love you. No, I don't love you. We miss you. No, we don't miss you. I want, I want you, you as back as possible. No, Mama he doesn't want you back. That's a gestural slip. This is called gestural slip in body language. They want, I will do whatever it takes to get you back. I, mean, I, love you. Love you. I want you back so bad. Mom of two, Suzanne Morphew, vanished after going for a bike ride along this Colorado trail. 
Her husband, Barry, a volunteer firefighter, was said to be 150 miles away in Denver when she was reported missing by a neighbor. Oh, Suzanne, if anyone is out if there. If anyone is out there. What do you mean by if anyone is out there? He is not talking specifically because he knows that she's not there. I can hear this that has you. Please. He said, please. Okay. And these lines that you see on his forehead, these are signs of stress that would you believe me or not? There is no sadness on the face. You have to see that his wife is lost. She's nowhere to be found. He's announcing reward. There is an FBI tip line over here. He's under pressure. He's giving it because there is pressure. These are only stress lines. But the corner of the lips, they are not dropping down. He's alert. He's alert. Do he will do nothing to, to get you her back. back. I will do whatever it takes to get you back. I'll show you another one. And this is a similar. This is a case of 1993. You can write another name. Susan Smith. Okay, great. Now, I'll give you the background so that you understand. So this lady, this is a case of 1993. She comes out. This is her husband. So she has parked her car outside a mall. And then she goes inside the mall to shop. So she has two children, I guess, uh, three or five. So they are sitting in the car. She comes back. The car has disappeared. And the children are nowhere to be found. She comes out to the media. She gives a plea. Watch out for her and tell me what do you see. Hey, since Susan Smith claims a carjacker stole her two babies, what everyone hoped would be a joyous appearance by Susan and David Smith becomes yet another anguished plea. I would like to say to whoever has my children. Language to what the guy said. If anyone has my wife. So she's saying whoever has my children. Again, ambiguous. That they please, I mean, please bring them home to us where they belong. What did you see? So I will uh, explain. Smith claims a carjacker stole. Till now, she's waiting for the cameras to get turned on. Then she will cry. All her two babies. What everyone vehicles to cry, so that the stage is all set hoped would be a joyous appearance by Susan and David Smith. tongue is out. The tongue going out or the chung, tongue jut, jet means uh, jut means that you have just got away with something or there is something very disgusting that you're about to do or that you're facing right now. And that's how even animals do this. Smith becomes yet another anguished plea. I would like to say to whoever has my children, so she had a problem saying that whoever has my children, the tongue out, the tongue jut. This is called tongue jut. That they please. So compresses her lips. Lip compression as given by Gregory Hartley. It means that you are withholding information. I mean, please bring them home to us where they belong. Bring them home. She took a lot of time to say to us. Now. Watch his face carefully. This corner of the mouth is slightly up in comparison to this corner of the mouth. This expression that he gave at the end of the video, this is called contempt. Contempt, which means I am smarter than you. I just got away with what I had to say. The moment the video got over, he gave an expression of contempt. That I gave my video plea that I had to and I got away with it. And this was captured by the interrogators. I've taken a screenshot of this. Now, if somebody is giving a statement to you saying that my brother is missing or my family members are missing. And after saying that this is smirk, which you call it as a smirk, slight smile or of expression of contempt, which means they have just got away with what they have told you. They want you to believe that. It looks like this. That's how the face of contempt looks like. Wait, wait, wait. This is just the part we have just covered the video analysis in just a bit. 
we have much more of video analysis and many more things in our next videos so just stay tuned with our channel do like share subscribe to our channel and support us thank you all